Nichelle is of the kindest, most generous, most thoughtful woman that Luke and I know. She's constantly using her words to build up those around her. You can't leave her presence without feeling thoroughly encouraged. She has such a special gift. She's just amazing. When I give, it's so that people can hear about the love that Jesus has for them and that they don't have to go through that. And I don't want my brothers and sisters to not eat and to not have what they need. Not when I have so much, when I have more than I need. I just, it just, I, I just couldn't do that. And then God always gives me what I need and then some. He always gives me so much, so I can't keep it all. So just to give some of it back and as much as I can so that my brothers and sisters and other people can hear about him, I, I couldn't not do it because I would be ashamed really because God gives me so much and he didn't give it to me for me. He gave it to me because he knows that I'll give it away. And because he keeps doing that, I keep giving it away. I'd be scared to keep it because he just, I just know he didn't give it to me for that. It's not for me, it's not about me. But in doing that, he takes care of me too. So I just have to. Plus I told him I would and I kind of can't not do it. <laughs> Because then I'd be in trouble. I don't want to be in trouble with God. Well, I've been to the Philippines and it's the first time I ever traveled out the country. It was amazing. And Cebu and Palawan were just amazing. So beautiful. My favorite place was when I went to India. And the leper colony was my favorite place because that's where people have been abandoned by their families and no one touches them because they're untouchable. And I'm a hugger, like I said. So for people with leprosy to feel someone hug them, to feel someone love them, and for them to kiss you and you to kiss them, and that their families just abandon them, that was just heartbreaking that no one would touch them. And it reminded me of when people had leprosy in the Bible, they had to say they were unclean. And we got to hug them and we got to see their smiles. And one of the young ladies said that her sons and her family don't see her. And that I came from the United States to see her. And her family lives right there and wouldn't come see her, wouldn't acknowledge that they knew her. And that really hurt. That really hurt. As the Director of Mercy, I can tell you that Nichelle means so much to me personally. Her support, her care, her constant follow-up on how we're doing with our programs has been amazing. My favorite thing is that there's no way you can be in the same place as a disciple and not feel love. Um, even if you don't want it, they're just going to come love on you. and. We're all connected. When one person hurts, we all feel it. When one person's happy, we all feel it. But then you're not gonna feel invisible. Someone's gonna see you and you're gonna feel love. When I think of Nichelle Neal, I think about just how nurturing she is and how she's always encouraging. Uh, she never fails to send me words of encouragement, uh, whether it's just to check in, whether it's after a gathering or a time we had together uh, just to shower me uh, with love and encouraging words as it is my love language. Uh, just think of uh, someone who really goes out of her way to make sure that uh, someone feels loved and just highly encouraged. I've gone to India, I've gone to the Philippines, I've gone to DC and everywhere the heart is the same. Everyone just loves you and hugs you and it doesn't matter what you look like or where you're from, um, there's just love. And it's just blind and it's just unconditional and it doesn't matter what you've done or where you've been or who you know or who you don't know. You're just in this big family and there's just so much love. And who doesn't want that? I want that. <laughs> and it was here and I found that when I came here and I decided that I wanted to come back and 
I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> My name is Michelle Mio. I was baptized on March 18, 2016, and I'm a disciple.